I'll be going through the process of deploying a virtual machine from the CloudStack UI. Now, in order to do this, there are four things that you need to pass to the, the CloudStack API, which will be the zone, the network, and the service offering, and the template. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go to the instances view, which you can find by clicking on compute and then on instances. So here's a list of all instances and currently they are not any. So we will be adding a new one by clicking the add instance button. Okay, so the first thing that needs to be specified here is the zone that the instance will be created in. There are also fields here for Selecting a pod cluster or host where the instance will be created in. Say if you want to put it on a specific host, you can put that in here, but um, I'll just leave it as is for now. And the next thing is to select a template or ISO. Now when you do a fresh installation of CloudStack, it does come with a built-in template. There are no built-in ISOs. Those you have to... Um, Upload yourself, which can be managed from the images uh, tab. Okay, moving on to the compute offering. You choose what the specification of the virtual machine is going to be here. These are the, the built-in ones, so I'll just be going with the first one. Okay, here you can decide if you want to have an additional data disk for storing data on your virtual machine. But I'll just leave this one as is as well. And again, the, the disk offerings can also be uh, customized. Uh, if you go here to service offerings and go to disk offerings, you can manage it from there. Okay, so the last thing here would be selecting a network for the virtual machine to connect to so that you can access the virtual machine through the network. I've already created one, so I'll just leave it as it is, um, as it has been pre-selected. Okay, the, the next the next thing here is the SSH keys, which I'll just leave as is because I don't have any keys set up. Okay, advanced mode, this is where you specify the boot type or the boot mode in case you need uh, UEFI for your, your virtual machine. But I'm just going to uh, leave it on the default settings because I don't need that right now. Okay, and these other things are all optional. You don't have to fill those out. So here we go. Once the state changes from starting to running, you can click on the virtual machine name and then open up the console by clicking this button here, and then you'll, you'll see your virtual machine running. All right, thanks for watching.